can be filled in five wells. The bottom box can be filled in remaining four wells because one already filled. So, but this three places, this box can be filled in eight ways. This box can be filled in seven ways. The red coin when you toss also two possibilities. So two into two into two, eight, eight different. So please understand zero to nine, there are 10 digits. In that six and seven, if I remove, six and seven, if I remove, I have nine, di eight digits. And the concept of permutation, NPR. What is NPR? Arranging N things in R places. See NPN, NPN, if both are same, we say N factorial. Welcome to the session, dear students. So now, permutation combination will continue with the exercise problems. So before I start with the exercise problem, just let us recollect. I taught you what is permutation. What is permutation? Permutation is what? Arrangement. Permutation is arrangement. And I told you one more basic thing. One more basic thing is NPR. What is meant by NPR? NPR. What is NPR? NPR means arranging N things in R places. Arranging N things. Arranging N things in R places. In R places. Now, example, if you have 7p3, means 7 things in 3 places can be arranged in 7p3, that is 7 into 6 into 5. From 7, take 3 terms. This is the original expansion. And with reputation, without reputation, I showed different process. And also, I taught you fundamental principle of counting. With reputation means, if suppose you have so many places, if this is n without repeating means it will become decreased n minus 1 like that. With reputation means, if you can repeat means every box you fill in n ways. So these are the things which we discussed. Permutation is arrangement, NPR means n factorial by n minus r factorial or from n multiply till r terms decreasing one each. And NPR means arrangement of n things in r places. How many five digit telephone numbers can be constructed using digits 0 to 9? Using digits 0 to 9. So, starts with 67. Starts with what? 67. And no digit appear more than once. No digit should appear more than once. So, now how many five digit telephone numbers? They want what? Five digit telephone numbers. And now five digit telephone numbers means. So, 5 boxes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places. But already first place is filled by 6 and second place is filled by 7. So, now we are left out with, we are left out with remaining, what are the remaining? 3 digits. So, I have 3 places, 3 places. See, you know 0 to 9, 0 to 9, there are 10 digits. 0 to 9, how many digits are there? There are 10 numbers. There are 0 to 9, there are 10 numbers, 10 different numbers. Coming to the point, so now out of 10, already you filled 2. 6, 7, if I remove, I have, so after filling, after filling 6, 7, 6, 7, they told without repeating, we will have only 8 digits are left out. Only 8 numbers are left out. Only 8 numbers are left. So now, we have 3 places, 3 places, 8 numbers. So, in 3 places, 8 different numbers can be filled in can be filled in directly 8p, 8p, 3 ways, ways, See, or fundamental principle. So, this box can be filled in 8 ways, this 7 ways, this 6 ways. 
So answer is 8P3. So 8P3 means 8 into 7 into 6. That's it. So please understand 0 to 9, there are 10 digits. In that 6 and 7, if I remove, 6 and 7, if I remove, I have 9, di 8 digits and 3 places. And they told no digit appear more than once. Without repeating, this can be filled. First box can be filled in 8 ways. And second box can be filled in 7 ways. Third box can be filled in this 8 into 7 into 6 or 8P3. 8P3 means 8 into 7 into 6. Multiply this, you will get the required value. So, multiply maadi. So, 8 into 7 in, okay, 8 into 7 8 into 7 into 6 or 8 into 7 6 42 multiply 8 to 16 1 8 4 is 32, 3 33, 3 36. Therefore, 3 36 different 5 digit numbers starting with 6 7. 5 digit numbers starting with 6 7 can be found. Starting with 6 7 can be formed. How many can be found? 336. I told the logic. First two places are already filled. So, this can be filled only in one way that is filling 6. This can also be filled only in one way. So, but this three places, this box can be filled in 8 ways. This box can be filled in 7 ways. This box can be filled in 6 ways. Multiply these three numbers, we get 336. So, we can form 336 different numbers. Next. A coin is tossed three times and the outcomes are recorded. How many possible outcomes are there? See, three times, first time when I toss, I can get head or I can get tail. So, two ways. Second time I can toss, I will get two ways. Head or tail, head or tail. So, in three times, means three times tosses, first output two ways. Second output two ways, third output is also two ways. So, total number of uh, outcomes is total outcomes because here outcome and repeat. So, 2 into 2 into 2 or I can say 2 cube that is 8 because each time when you toss there are two possibilities either head or tail. So, two ways in first outcome, second outcome maybe second time when you toss two possibilities. Third coin when you toss also two possibilities. So, 2 into 2 into 2, 8. 8 different outcomes are possible. 8 different outcomes, what are they? Like this, head, head, head or head, head, tail or head, tail, head or tail, head, head or head, 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 head tail, tail or tail, tail, head or tail, head, tail or tail, tail, tail. So, 8 different possibilities are there. But you can't sit and count like this. What is the simple technique? It's fundamental principle of counting. So, first, first outcome, any two possibilities, head or tail. Second outcome, again, any two possibilities, head or tail. Third outcome, any two possibilities. Fundamental principle of counting. 2 into 2 into 2, 2 cube is 8. Now, given 5 flags of different colors, how many different signals can be generated if each signal requests use of 2 flags? You're using 2 flags and all are different. See so five flags say red, blue, yellow, orange, or we gear only you can use red, blue, orange. Okay, white I'll use. Five colors I am using. So there are two places, one below the other. See, first place can be filled in how many ways? Five different ways. I can fill red or I can fill blue or I can fill yellow. But after you fill any one color, I am left out with four colors. So by fundamental principle. 5 into 4 ways that is 20. So, 20 different colors. So, the top box can be filled in 5 ways. The bottom box can be filled in remaining 4 ways because one already filled. All are different colors. You have only 5 flags. So, 5 into 4 that is 20 different signals can be formed. Therefore, how many signals can be formed? Total 20 different signals can be formed. Again, this is a concept of what? Permutation. Okay, dear students, in my last class I taught you what is permutation. 
In today's class, I completed exercise 7.1, the given problems of exercise 7.1. So, 1 to 6 problems are there. I divided them into first tier of 3, second tier of 3 because just I want to introduce the concept of permutation. And here we go, we went on with the same technique. Now, what I want to say is we have concepts of permutation. What are the concepts of permutation? NPR. What is NPR? Arranging n things in r places. See n p n, n p n, if both are same, we say n factorial. And what is the expansion of 8 p 3? Start from 8, 3 terms. 8 into, into next is what? 7 into decrease 1, 1, 6. And 8 p 8 is same as what? If both are same, we can say 8 factorial. Means it is what? 8 till 1, 8, 7, 6, so on till 1. And what is the 0 factorial? 1. What is n factorial? Start from n, go on decreasing 1 each till you get 1. For example, 5 factorial. What is 5 factorial? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Please recollect all these things. We have done 6 problems of uh, all the problems of XI 7.1. So, in my next class, I will use the concepts of NPR and NCR. Then we will go ahead with NCR combinations. Then we will do problems both permutations as well as combinations. Like that, we will go ahead. So, my dear students, this is we say aptitude. So, no. So, let me summarize. So, before, uh, so all six problems are covered. So, now I will go for special cases. So, special cases are NPR, that is n factorial by n minus r factorial and n, n p n if both are same we say n factorial and we have before we go to the next so 7.1 is done so to step into 7.2 first we should know some basics factorial basics listen n factorial can be written as n minus 1 into n minus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 so on till 1. So, I can write this as n into n minus 1 factorial. For example, for example, 5 factorial can be written as 5 into 5 minus 1, 4 factorial, you can start. And this is the basics required. Here, here, please understand. So, we we'll have NCR. The other important notation is NCR. So, for my next class, this is the basic. NCR means N factorial divided by N minus R factorial into R factorial. Meaning is simple. If I give 8C3, it is 8 factorial divided by 8 minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial. Or I can say 8 factorial divided by 5 factorial into 3 factorial. Or I can say 8 into 7 into 6 into and stop at 5 factorial divided by I have 5 factorial by 3 factorial. I can cancel this one. So simply speaking, if you have 8C3, if you have 8C3, you start from 8, take 3 terms, 8, 7, 6, stop it. Denominator, whatever is, is the number? What is the number 3? So, 3 factorial. 3 till 1. This is the shank factor. So, if I give you 7P4, numerator start, sorry, 7C4, 7C4, numerator starts from what? 7. Take 4 terms. 7, 6, 5, 4. 4 terms are done. So, here start from 4 till go till 1. So, NCR means N factorial by N minus R factorial into R factorial. 8C3 means 8 factorial by 8 minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial. So, after you subtract, it becomes 5 factorial. After you simplify this, simple logic is 8C3 means from 8 take 3 terms, denominator take this factorial terms. So, relation. So, now relation between NCR and NPR. So, now relation between NCR and NPR is NPR is NCR divided by or into R factorial. See here, you know the value, you can also write 
the relation between NPR and LCR is NPR means N factorial by what? N minus just R factorial. All of you know NCR means what? N factorial divided by N minus R factorial into R factorial. So I can write this as N factorial by N minus R factorial, I can write NPR by R factorial. That is why, that is why we can write NPR as NCR into R factorial. These three formats are important. Along with this, along with this, NCR can also be written as NC N minus R. So zero factorial is one. These are the basics which we use to solve the problem. So in today's session, I give the basic three problems. What are the basic three problems? Problem 5, problem 6, problems, problem 4, 5, 6. See, 5, 4, and we have done the basics. So now last I am giving you the basic concepts called Fermo, sorry, the relations. Relations are most important between what? NPR and NCR. So NPR is NCR into R factorial, 0 factorial is 1, and N factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 factorial. Pi factorial means you know 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 or I can write 5 into so this 4 part can be written as 4 factorial. n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 factorial. Such simplifications we use to solve the problems. 7.2 is based on the formulae as well as approach. Then I will give introduction to NCR that is combination. NPR means what? Out of n things, arranging r things. NCR means what? Out of n things, selecting r things. C means combination. Combining means what? Select, selecting. Selection comes under combination. So, we will do problems of combination in my next session. So, I hope all of you understood what I taught you. So, all the three problems and in the excess, all the six problems are important. So, now we will go ahead with the next set of problems. Before that, Please recollect this, summarize this, two sessions I have done in permutation and combination. Both you go through to attend the third session, then you can understand better. Thanks for attending. I will see you in my next session. Thank you.